Hey there and welcome back to the video series. In the previous video we created the database and we connected it to Laravel and we ran the default database migration from Laravel and we had created these tables in the database. So we have a users table among others and that is so nice but we should also have a product table. So we need to create a new migration that will create the product table. But before we do this, uh, I just briefly want to show you the extensions in uh, Visual Studio Code that I like to use when I develop Laravel applications. So if we go to the extensions uh, tab here in VS Code, we filter on the installed extensions and just, just write Laravel. We ha I have three different extensions installed. I have some IntelliSense that will allow me to uh, give me support for Laravel specific code. And we can also see that it provides intelligence for Laravel routes, views and auto completion also. So that is also nice and handy. We also have uh, the blade snippets that will provide us with help when we create these blade snippets in, uh, in our views. You can see here in the demo here that it, when we have a blade syntax here, it will help us in writing these uh, snippets so we don't have to know the exact name. Uh, so that's also a big help. And then also a Laravel blade spacer that will just, it's a really simple one that just creates an extra space when we have blade snippets. So that is some of the extensions that I like to use when I develop Laravel applications. Right, so let's close this one up again because uh, we need to create a new migration. And if we take a look at the, let's just take create users table here. We have a file called create users table. It, it extends a migration. So this will define the public function up will define the database table called users. What properties should it have in the database? And we can see it has an ID and a string, name, email, and a couple of constraints on this, that the email should be unique and so on and so forth. So we can create our database definition from within the framework instead of going to phpMyAdmin, and that can be handy. So if we wanna create a new uh, database migration for our products, we don't need to copy all this code manually. We can just run an artisan command. Uh, let's just collapse this one a bit here. Let's clear this one. So PHP artisan make migration. Then we have create oh, an underscore products table. And then we can write create and then the name of the database table. So we tell PHP artisan to make a new migration that has this file name and that the database table should be called products. So let's see what happens. So Laravel says created migration and if we inspect our directory we can see we have a new product migration that also has the up method that will define the table and also a down method that will drop it when we need to refresh our database. Okay, that is really nice. So now we are able to customize our migration here. And I think we're just going to keep it simple right here. Uh, I think we should have a, uh, a name in our product. So really simple, just have a string that's going to be converted into a varchar in the database. And we have, if it is relational database. Um, so now we also have, let's just have a text with um, details. All right. So we've specified a couple of more properties for our products. You can obviously put uh, whatever properties you want to have. You can also have integers or booleans or whatever. There's a lot of different data types and you can go and read uh, in the documentation for this, how you do this. But now we've defined a simple product that will be the basis of our migration, for our product in the uh, web application. So if we go to the command line again and we run php artisan migrate so now we can do a small change to the command we can do refresh and refresh will drop the database table and create them again so it's going to run the database migrations again because we already have created the tables here so if we run the command here we can see that laravel We'll roll back the already created table. It's going to migrate it again. And we also have the products table. So that is really nice. 
So if we refresh our database now, we can see we have products. And we can see we have the properties that we specified in the migration. If we go to the structure, we can see ID name, that was a varchar. We have the detail, that is a text, and Laravel specific uh, properties, when it was created, when it was updated. Okay, so that is a really nice way to defining your database table from within Laravel. And because we can also, because we had a, a folder called Cedars, if we want to provide test data or initial data in our database, we can create a data seeder that we can run with this migration. So it's going to migrate all the tables and it will populate the database with uh, fresh data that we can use in our application. Okay, I think this is enough for this video. Um, I hope you make this work and uh, in the next video we will continue on developing the application. We will create the first route and also have a look at the model because we need to create a product model also uh, in order to make this work. So uh, stay tuned for the next video and uh, have fun with us. Bye-bye.